I want to show you how you can add digital downloads inside your customer accounts on Shopify. So it's really easy to do. Um, I'll show you an example here. This is an example store that I've got. You can see we've added a button already that says view all downloads. Um, if I click on this, you'll see I've got three example orders. It shows the downloads in each one. Yeah, so that's exactly how they look. Um, I mean, you can customize the colors and the fonts and everything about uh, these download pages. So yeah, I'll go back. Um, and there's another place we can show the downloads too is inside the order page. So we go here, this is the default colors and themes. You can customize them. You can change the text as well. Um, and you can place this wherever you want on the page too. Okay, so that's the two locations we can show downloads. Regarding this one, we'll provide a snippet, which is the button, and it'll use your styling of your Shopify theme. As you can see here, it's the same styling. Or you can just use this link and place it wherever you want on the page. You can add it as a hyperlink inside a, in some text, or you can have it as a menu icon and so on. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how to actually set this up. So what you'll need first is the Fileflare Digital Downloads app. Um, this is one we built many years ago, and there's a lot of stuff coming throughout the year. So I'd yeah highly recommend get this because you get all these cool features like the customer account downloads. Um, all right, so we'll go to the Shopify store. Once you've installed it, you'll see it here in the app section. Let's open up the app. We'll go to the settings page and then go down to checkout settings. And then here's the setting that we want to enable already enabled it here because I was showing an example for you. Um, what you'll need is the premium plan. So make sure you're on the right plan that unlocks this feature. Um, yes, yeah, so what we'll do is once you've enabled it, you'll need to do an extra few little bits to show the buttons inside the account. We've got a help desk tutorial here. So what you can do is search customer account um, and click on the enable customer account downloads tutorial. We're not going to go through all the text because I'm walking you through it anyway. Uh, but make sure you've enabled the um, right customer account option. So at the moment, at the time of filming this, you've got two types of customer accounts on Shopify. You've got the classic and you've got the new. Currently, Shopify don't allow apps to integrate things into the new customer accounts. New customer accounts are quite basic. They work in a, an unusual way. So yeah, apps can't add downloads into it basically. So what we're working with today is the classic customer accounts. This is the one that most stores still use. Um, okay, so once you've done that, um, we've got the guide open here. We'll go back to the Shopify tab. What you wanna do is go to online store, go to themes, and then these three buttons here, we'll click that on your live theme and you'll click edit code. Okay, so if you're not comfortable going in here, you can contact our support and we'll help you. We'll add it for you. We'll add all the code for you. It's really simple. It's not that hard to do. But if you're not comfortable, I'd advise you to contact us and we'll do it. If you are and you want to do it yourself, then great. Um, just be careful. It's You can't do much damage, to be honest. It's pretty difficult to do damage. We'll click Edit Code. And then in the search box up here, you'll search for the account um, file and also the order file. So it can vary depending on your Shopify theme. In this one, um, in this standard Shopify theme, we have the main account liquid and we've got the main order liquid. Okay, so the main account page is this one here. So it's the main account. And then the main order is inside the order page. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll start with this one first. Um, we'll add the downloads. So go back to Fileflare, onto the tutorial. And what you want to do is get this snippet of code. You click the copy button. We'll go back to Shopify. And then you can go in the order one. And then we've already added it. So if I search digital, we've added it on line 345. It can vary depending on the theme. Like, don't just add it to 345. You'll want to find a certain spot for it. A good way of finding a spot is the, you, know, you can scroll around and just kind of like see sections here, which have a gap. Um, you can just paste it in and then just remove it if you if it's wrong, if it doesn't work. Um, but you can experiment with it. You know, you can paste it in different areas, press save, and then go to here, refresh the page, you'll see it. And then just find the place that you like it. 
Um, at the moment, we've got it shown below the table. And yeah, it automatically shows there then. So if you want to test it, make sure that you have files attached to the products in the order. This is one common thing that people get wrong is you want to make sure you, you go to the products and then make sure the product that you're testing has connected assets. Otherwise, nothing will show. So for example, we ordered the music sample pack in this test order. And then in here, we've attached these files. Okay, cool. All right, so one thing to note as well, inside the order page, this links to a singular order with the downloads. You see them here. But then in the main account page, this shows all downloads on every single order that the customer has. So I'll click on this one, you'll see all three orders there with all the downloads. Um, all right, that's how you set up the first one. So the next one, we, we've got the code here actually. It'll be in that tutorial um, back on the help desk, but here's the code. So this button here is just this small snippet of button code. We'll provide it for you if you want to just add the button wherever you want. You know, just find a section and then paste it. One thing that you need to do before it'll work is you need to add your store domain here. This is compulsory. So you need to go to your online store, find your domain name. Obviously, we've got the basic Shopify one here for the test. And you want to paste it in there. And then once you've done that, this dynamic link will work. And then you can obviously customize the text of the button, which is this here. Add whatever you want. And then once you press save, it will show in the main account. It's as simple as that. It's not hard to do. Um, if you need help, we'll do it for you. Um, and let me show you, you can actually just take this link and you can paste it wherever you want, not straight up as a link, but you can add it to like a menu icon. You might need a developer for help with this anyway, or we can help you. Or you can add it to um, you know a hyperlink on some text. So you can, there's a load of customization here. You can place it wherever you like. The button snippet code, we'll just take the button styling of your Shopify theme. So that's probably the easiest route. Um, that's why we created it as a button here. And that's it. That's all you need to do to add downloads to the customer accounts in Shopify. Um, simple as that. Once you're done, press the save button. That's it. If you need any help with anything, comment below or contact support on Fileflare. We'll get back to you straight away and help you with anything you need.